Hello guys, Assalamualaikum. Today in the second video we will discuss the second aspect of figures of speech termed as resemblance. In fact, contrast contains these essential figures antithesis, oxymoron, epigram, paradox, irony and chasmus. Basically, the word anti means opposite, contradictory, antithesis means statement or a sentence. So, how can we define antithesis? Antithesis basically requires when two contradictory ideas, when two dissimilar or contradictory or opposite ideas are joined in a single statement, that should be referred as antithesis. For suppose if we say, man proposes God disposes. Here we have two contradictory ideas. What does man do? He proposes. And what does God do? He disposes. Basically, the word proposes is opposed, is contradictory to disposes. Likewise, this word, God, is really opposite, really contradictory to this one. Man proposes, God disposes. Here, we have two opposite ideas and we have joined them in a single statement in a single sentence. First suppose to end is human forgive is divine. Here we have also two contradictory, we have also two opposite ideas. To it is human, forgive is divine. Here, ill is a opposite to forgive. Likewise, human is opposite to divine, means of God. We have another example. For suppose, to speak, to speak is silver. But silence is golden. But silence is golden. Here, speech is the opposite of a silence. Okay? And silver is the opposite of this. So, antithesis may be defined as antithesis may be defined as when two contradictory ideas have been joined in a single statement in a single sentence that should be referred as antithesis. The second figure contained in contrast is termed as oxymoron. Basically, there is a difference between these two figures. Antithesis demands two contradictory ideas, whereas oxymoron demands two contradictory qualities. First of all, how can we define oxymoron? When two contradictory qualities when two contradictory qualities are used in a single statement, in a single sentence. For suppose if we say, He is an honest thief. How should it be possible that a person who is to be regarded as a honest as well as a thief? So here we have joined two contradictory qualities. For suppose if we say this is an open secret. Open and secret, they both are contradictory to each other. So oxymoron demands, oxymoron requires two contradictory qualities. Where is antithesis? We have studied that antithesis demands Antithesis requires two contradictory ideas. Third one figure contained in this aspect is termed as epigram. Epigram may be defined as a short contradictory statement which is made to arrest our attention. For suppose we can exemplify this figure. How? If we say or lies in concealing or 
odd lines. Here, according to the definition of epigram, we have exemplified it. Odd lines. Odd lines. Odd lines in which in concealing odd. How it should be possible that odd lies in concealing odd. In second sentence, if we don't, if we don't in the wall, then what will happen? The wall will in us. The war will in us. The third one is the child. Is the father of man. The child is the father of man. How a child becomes the father of man? So according to the definition of epigraph, Epigram may be defined as a short contradictory statement, a short, a brief contradictory statement which is made for what purpose? In order, in order to arrest somebody's attention. So we have exemplified this figure contained in contrast. Art lies in concealing art. If we don't in the bar, if we don't in the bar, then what will happen? The bar will in us. And in third sentence, the child is the father of men. Now, we will discuss the fourth figure, termed as paradox. Basically, paradox may be defined as a statement which stands itself contradictory. A statement which stands itself contradictory. First of all, if we say, I know one thing that one thing I know here I know one thing that I know nothing so this is a statement which stands itself better he did nothing means he has done no anything but he did nothing but did very well so according to the definition of paradox it may be exemplified that when a statement which is made which is framed just contradictory to itself in third one sentence, we can say that he must be pure to be kind. So, all these three statements, they are contradictory to themselves. So, according to the definition of paradox, it has been proved that we have to make such statements, such sentences, which are contradictory to themselves. <coughs> now we will discuss the second last figure contained in this aspect termed as irony. Guys, irony may be defined as when something is expressed just opposite what is me. When something is expressed just opposite what is me. We can exemplify this figure how if we say he was rewarded a prize on getting a zero mark in the examination. Can we say that a person who gets a zero mark in the examination that, that he will be rewarded a prize? But here, 
we face, we have to find and that something expressed just opposite. Means here in this first statement we criticize the man who gets a zero mark in the examination. So according to the definition of irony, here we demand an admin. Here we demand a contradictory meaning as it is depicted in the sentence. He was awarded a prize means he is he is, he deserves a punish. But here according to the definition of irony, we should say that he was awarded a prize on getting a zero mark in the examination. In the second sentence, in the second sentence, How nice of you to refuse to help me. Can we say that, that a person who refuses to help somebody, to help someone or even to help me, can we say that he is a nice person, he is a good person. But here, in the first statement, in the first sentence, we criticize We want a contradictory meaning. Here, how nice of you? Here, it reveals a contradictory meaning. As in the first sentence, he was rewarded the prize. Means, he, he deserved a punishment. Likewise, how nice of you? Here, we mean contradictory. So, how nice of you to refuse to help me is an example of irony. Guys, now we will define the last figure contained in this aspect termed as chasmus. Chasmus may be defined as chasmus may be defined as when first half is reverse on the second half. How we can exemplify a good man a good man eats and drink to live. A good man eats and drinks to live. Where is where is we can say that a bad man a bad man live to eat and to drink. Here we have two reversible context we have to reverse will nature. In the second in the second example do I like you because you are beautiful. Do I like you because you are beautiful? We can reverse we can reverse this statement. How you do you are you beautiful because I like so, according to the nature, according to the meaning of this figure, we have exemplified that when first half is reversed on the second half. We have exemplified a good man, good man eats and drinks for what to live. This statement, we have reversed this statement how a bad man lives, a bad man lives to eat and to drink. Whereas in the second step, in the second example, 
the first statement is do i like you it will should be reversed how you are beautiful are you beautiful because the result so how you understand all these figures contained in the second aspect of the figures of speech very well